Edge highlighting is one of the simplest ways to make sure that all important features of the miniature stand out. In this video you will learn why should you edge highlight, how to do it properly and what are the different approaches to edge highlighting. Should you always edge highlight everything on your miniature? Let's find out! And by the way, just before the video starts, as you can see just a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed, so go ahead and subscribe. It's absolutely free and you can always change your mind later. Now I assume that most of you already know what is edge highlighting, but just to be sure, edge highlighting is a miniature painting technique where you take any part of a miniature and paint just the edges of that part with either lighter or brighter color. There are quite a lot of reasons why you should edge highlight your miniatures, so I will just mention some of them. The obvious one is that it will make certain features of your miniatures easy to recognize when you look at it, since edges of any part will be well separated from the rest of the surface. If you do not edge highlight your miniature, it might look very flat, especially when painting something like monocolored armor. Edge highlighting will give your miniature additional contrast as in theory, the edges should be exposed to light the most. Similarly, you bring more contrast to your miniature by blacklining and shading it. Lastly, you can choose to stack multiple edge highlights on top of each other, just like Heavy Metal Team does to really spotlight all of the features on your mini. That way, you don't even have to build any real volume on flat surfaces and it will still look great on table. Of course, in real life you don't see edges of all things separated like that, but we are gonna talk about that later. Brushes. So before I get into how to edge highlight, it is important to have proper tools for it. Quite often I get a question on which brushes do I use, and even though I'm answering it over and over again, I don't mind it, since it is so, so important. Together with a wet palette and a proper lamp, quality brushes took my miniature painting to a whole nother level. I personally use these DaVinci Maestro Series 35 and they are amazing. The tip of the brush stays very nice, it can hold a lot of paint and the bristles have a little bit of a spring when painting, which helps a lot. As long as your brush will have these features, it is good for edge highlighting. Generally speaking, you want natural sable hair brushes just like this one or Winsor & Newton Series 7 brush, but I am sure that you can find more than that. For this, I usually pick either size 1 or size 00 for smaller edges, but in general, as long as the tip stays sharp, you don't have to go lower than size 1. For example, having brush like this is not optimal, since it doesn't hold enough paint and it dries too quickly on the bristles. So now that you have your brush with a nice tip and that can hold enough paint, let's move on to practice. As with all painting methods, you can simply take a spare base to test- What? What a fuck. Okay, maybe you don't wanna take a spare base, but a spare space marine or something like that, as long as it has many edges. Most of the time you are gonna use belly of the brush and cover the edge of whatever part you are painting. It's the best to do this in a single movement. And that's why it's important that your brush is able to keep the paint inside the bristles. If you don't manage to get it done in a single motion, you can use more, but the line can be a little bit inconsistent. In that case, you might want to go back to your underlying layer and fix those inconsistencies. Additionally, keep in mind that if you want your edge highlight a little bit thicker, you can simply add more pressure or change the angle of your brush a little bit. So as you can see, the single best way to edge highlight your miniature is to use the belly of your brush. Or is it? Well, when you think about it, not all edges are equal. When you are painting edges that are very sharp, you can definitely use the belly. But if the edge is too blunt, you cannot really do that. For that reason, when you are painting something like center edge of a power sword, you might be better off using tip of the brush instead of belly. In that case, it is just about your patience. In a similar manner, you can do this for the rims of a shoulder pad or something like that. Uh, dry brushing? When I first started painting miniatures, I noticed how fast and effective dry brushing is even when painting space marines. By dry brushing over the edges and elevated features on your miniature, you will leave the paint there and essentially you have highlighted the edges as well. This certainly can work, but the result will be much different. Whereas with the regular edge highlighting, you will achieve very new, clean, right out of factory look, with the dry brushing you will achieve much more weathered and used look. This doesn't mean that one is wrong and that one is right, it just means that it is different and you should know this before you decide to use one or the other. Generally speaking, both can look very good when done right, but most of the time dry brushing will be faster than stacking those edge highlights one by one. But if you are painting Warhammer and you want that classic box art heavy metal style, you will have to mostly stack those edge highlights anyway. But if you choose to go with dry brushing, you will still have to edge highlight some edges that your brush 
wasn't able to get to. Lastly, it is important to note that in real life, edges are not separated from the rest of the surface like that. If you look at my sleeve, for example, there is no f***ing edge highlight, but you still do want to edge highlight most of the edges even a little bit, since it serves the same purpose as outlines do when painting on a canvas. Simply put, edge highlights will unite the whole paint job and make it easy to read. And for that reason, making them thin will look more natural, while stacking multiple thick edge highlights can look cartoonish to some. At the end of the day, edge highlighting is a miniature painting technique just like any other, and if you wanna improve, you have to practice deliberately. But if you have any tips that might help others, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. If you like what I'm doing here, definitely subscribe to my channel so you will know when the next video comes. And lastly, if you want to help others get better at painting miniatures, definitely give this video a thumbs up so that way YouTube gods will know that they should take this video and recommend it to them. And as always, see you in the next one. Bye.